So obviously you, you talk to patients about nutrition. You may not get actively involved in the day-to-day -day meal planning, but obviously you have some thoughts and, and things that you've seen positive that work for your patients. And many physicians have certain foods they say you should stay away from or they should reduce their carbohydrates or go on the Mediterranean diet. Um, what have you found to be most successful that you think is beneficial for the patient, you know, uh, most of the time? So first thing I tell them, everything is allowed, which is true. There's absolutely no food or a food component that is absolutely prohibited, including sugar, including sucrose. Up to 5% of calories can come from sucrose. Uh, so uh, if somebody really, really wants it, um, they can have it. Again, diabetes shouldn't be running their life. Uh, the question is, that, uh, most of the time, how much? So uh, one has to uh, watch portion size and weight. So almost any diet, as long as it has no impact on the weight, uh, as long as people are not gaining weight, uh, is most of the time okay for people with diabetes. And then they have a very good tool, glucose monitoring. They should be all checking their blood sugars. How often is very individual, from several times a day to maybe twice a week. Um, and they will learn themselves, if they do that, what foods have impact for that particular person. And then they will learn to stay away. I don't have to tell them, they'll figure it out themselves. In general, of course, everybody knows that foods with simple, with a lot of simple carbohydrates will have an immediate impact on blood sugar. Um, and some foods, particularly pizza and bagels, will have a very prolonged impact on blood sugar. That doesn't mean one absolutely can't have that, but they will learn to eat perhaps a quarter of a bagel or a slice of pizza. I have an Italian patient, an 80-year-old man, good shape, has diabetes, and he loves pizza. And I say, well, you can have pizza, and you can have a slice of pizza. And he says, who eats a slice of pizza? You have to eat the whole pie. <laughs> I say, well, then you have to really be ready that your blood sugar will go up. Even then, if that's done once in a while, it probably will not have a terrible impact. It's long-term glycemia that matters. But, uh, you know, check your blood sugar and see what happens. So I think they really need to learn themselves what works for them, what kind of foods they like, and what kind of impact they have on their blood sugar.